Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, going to do a quick video on just answering some questions and stuff that we're getting a lot of emails on. Uh, just wanted to address the side vents. A lot of people are wondering why we're filling in uh, the side vents again. Uh, just uh, the, the quick answer is we, you know, ended up causing damage to the side when we moved it to this new facility a while back and trying to uh, do both side vents at the same time and keep them symmetrical has just been a real big issue so we figured the best way to get around that was to just fill it in and uh, then contour each side uh, correctly uh, and then what we'll do is we'll create an area where the vent will go so the, so there will be vents on the side of the car but we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna build those vents independently and separately and we'll make them out of different materials uh, like carbon fiber or or ABS plastic or something like that. And that will give us more uh, options on the design and the configuration and you know, we can design the, the, uh, the event that, that works best for the function that it's supposed to do. And, and also make the, the hood section easier to mold because we don't have to worry about those vents being there during the mold process. And it should help us, you know, create a cleaner, um, uh, side vent with more detail and all that other stuff so uh, just kind of thinking ahead and you know on what production of this will, will actually be this will you know just help all the way around with all of that and and just keep things easier and simpler um, so so that pretty much answers that question I guess and so there will be vents don't worry and they're gonna be cool and all that so <laughs> we'll just put those in later um, then on the hard top, we're doing a lot of work on this. This is kind of the before, so it's all choppy and nasty, and I'm going to be working on this today and cleaning it up and making, making it match to the other side. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll start at the front and work towards the back uh, on finishing up some of the other details. So still a lot of work to do. Um, just need to get around to it. Um, I've been doing some other videos, but for some reason my computer at the house uh, is... Uh, messing up the audio for some reason so I have to fix that see if I can get those videos up later. All right so now you can see that painted the the whole um, driver's side black and this is just to help get a better feel for the lines on the car and you can see you know the lines kind of start it's kind of a harsh line you know the car is called the blade so we're keeping that the, the, the that blade styling I guess so a lot of sharp lines, but yet very fluid and flowing at the same time. Uh, and so that line comes all the way to the back and to the front, curves around the headlight and then straight down to the ground. Um, and so a nice little fluid line to the car that goes from all the way from the back to the front. <coughs> and you see we have tires in place just for fitting. So still need wheels and all that good stuff, but that'll come later. And then off to the back, there, there's the back. I don't know if this would be too dark in the video. This, I, I lost some of my lights on this side, so um, I need to get up there and fix them. And then here's the hard top. You can see it's all nice and smooth transitions and everything. And this is what we're going to do on the other side. Um, we have it stuck down on the on the on the base, and we're using this tape so that the top isn't uh, actually stuck to the car, and we'll be able to pop it off. Um, don't know why my video is in dark, but anyway. Um, so there you go. I'm gonna clean this up, and then maybe I'll pop the top off uh, at the end and start working on the top center section. So we've been able to increase the headroom about an inch and a half without, you know messing up the, the lines of the car and so it's, it's starting to look pretty good and come together I like the way the top looks and you know so uh, so it's looking good so anyway um, I'm gonna start working and I'll uh, finish up those other sides and I'll have that all in the time-lapse mode and I'll uh, see you guys later Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, guys. Um, finished working on the car for today and uh, sanded and primed the top. And um, if I go over to the other side, uh, kind of see the top being sanded. Kind of see the center section of those hoops a little I mean, pumps um, a little better. So finished up this fender a little. Still have the bottom section of it to do, but the uh, the top the pop. Ugh, the top part of the um, uh, fender, you know, where the vents are, um, is, is sanded and contoured pretty good. Have still need to add a little filler to uh, smooth out some of the areas. Um, and then here's the other side of the top, so it looks pretty good, matches the other side, and have it primed as well. And it's looking pretty good. All the uh, all the lines are matching up. Use the the gantry deal to to make sure that uh, everything was symmetrical and that the lines followed each other pretty well. Uh, and so started to come along. Um, have a few more things to do with the top and with the side fender, and then we're going to move um, to uh, starting to clean up. Uh, this rear fender I didn't get to that today and then the back and top part of the hood so uh, just keep moving along down the car until it's done one day and then I'll be off to the to uh, have mold uh, be molded uh, or have molds made I guess so anyway I will see you guys later